Hello, my old school soul food family. Happy New Year 2021. Hope everybody having a blessed day today. And uh, when you see this video, it'll be 2021. Like they say on the uh, TV, this video was previously recorded for the safety of me. But anyway, it is 2021 when this video come out and when you see it. So I want to wish everybody a happy new year and a prosperous 2021. I'll have more to say after the video, but we're going to get started on this video. It's going to be a cooking slash chatting video. So uh, let me get started. Let me tell you a little history. I like to tell y'all a little history of this this um, item I'm doing. I do this every New Year for the past 20 years. It's something I created when I used to go to my friend's house on New Year's Eve. And I never go empty handed. So I created a suit. You know, New Year's Eve normally, in most places, even here in Texas, it's kind of chilly. Kind of cold. So I had to create something that we could eat that was, uh, that was filling and... Uh, you know, warm your body. So I created a New Year's, New Year's Eve suit. I created something on the fly that I just happened to have in my pantry and in my refrigerator, and I have to go to the store and buy because they told me last minute that they wanted me to bring something. So this is what I come up with, and I call it till this day my New Year's Eve suit, but it's good to eat on New Year's Day because a few of my friends now tell me it's good for hangovers. So, so... That's why I call it New Year's Day, New Year's Eve soup. So let's get started here. This soup is very simple. It has everything in it, in your pantry. You can be as creative as you want with it. Add or, or, or leave out what things you don't like. Add stuff that you do like. Now you see, I just seasoned the chicken. What I want to do, these are chicken thighs that I cut in half. I cut it in pretty much like little bitty pieces. Uh, when you're eating a soup, you don't want to eat a big piece of chicken. So I say, I need to cut this in half for it to eat better in the soup. I have kind of tinkered with this throughout the years, but I didn't tinker with the flavor and the procedure. So what I'm going to do, I just want to put a sear on this chicken thigh. The reason that, I don't want my stock to my soup to be cloudy. If you don't sear it off first, your soup, uh, happen to be a little bit cloudier, like a beef and vegetable soup. I don't want it like that. I want a rich, hearty stock. So I'm gonna sear the chicken off. I'm gonna just sear it off really, really quick. Then I'm gonna put it back in here with the other items. So, very simple. You can use whatever you want. What kind of whatever uh, meat you have on hand. Let's get this started here. And like I say, I got uh, smoked sausage here. I got peas. I got uh, corn, which is my favorite vegetable. Y'all been following me long enough. I got celery, and not celery. I got bell peppers and onions. I'm going to put some potatoes in there, some Yukon gold potatoes. Then I'm going to party it up with some uh, diced peppers and tomato paste to kind of give it a little body. And that's it. Brown this off, y'all. You don't have to get a real good color on it. I just want to sear it. Sear it off. And I used to make two pots of this stuff. And it'd be gone by the end of the night. Friends love it. You get, you some, get you some cornbread or some white rice to go with this. And it's definitely on, y'all. And I say I pray for everybody had a safe and uh, prosperous New Year's Eve. I know with the pandemic going on, wasn't a lot of going out partying. I hope not for a lot of people. Okay. Take this chicken out. I just want to get a little sear on it. That's all I want to do. I'm going to put these other two in there. All I want to do, and you leave the skin on the chicken too. And I use chicken thighs because it has more flavor. Chicken thighs have enormously more flavor than any part of the chicken. It's nice and juicy to use. Oh, and garlic, 
I'm going to add to it later also. Okay, you don't, they don't have to be brown. You just want to seal them juices inside that chicken. You got all that good flavor in the bottom of the pan, too. And I put vegetable oil in it, too. You can use butter, I guess, but I just use vegetable oil to sear it. Okay. Now take that out. Now and then I'm gonna add my peppers and my onions. Put that in there, get a good saute on them. And my garlic. A little garlic in there. I guarantee you make this stuff for your family on New Year's Eve or New Year's Day. They will be absolutely impressed. You will, you are not gonna see this soup anywhere unless somebody has stole it from me on the internet. And like I said, this was created on the fly on New Year's, New Year's Eve evening when I got off work. I got a text, like I say, I don't even know. It wasn't even a text back then. There wasn't no text messaging back then. I had a call from my friends. Need to, can they? Can I bring something from the today New Year's Eve party we have every year? And this is what I come up with. See if y'all can see what I'm doing here. Probably can't see what I'm doing, huh? Let me get the camera on there a little bit more. But it's very important. Very important y'all can see what I'm doing here. All right. There we go. Let me get that, guys. We're going to get a little translucent. Not much, because these don't cook a long time. Now. With this, I have my potatoes in here. Let me drain my potatoes. Make sure you wash them. You can use red potatoes if you want to. I just use a uh, Yukon Gold. And that's it, y'all. All I'm going to do now is add everything back to the pot here. Put the peas in here. We're gonna add the chicken last. After I get everything in it, we're gonna layer the chicken in there. Corn, you can use frozen corn. Uh, the first time I did it, y'all, I, I did uh, corn on the cob, and I figured corn on the cob just doesn't eat good. I don't want people having to use their hands and stuff. I just want them just, you know, enjoy themselves eating. So I changed it to corn kernels. Okay, now. Put a little chicken base in here, but you can also use chicken stock. So that's why I'm using chicken base. Give it some nice color here. Bouillon curry, do you want to use that? Same thing. All right. And we're going to add the water to this. Like I say, y'all, it's very easy soup, y'all. Very easy. Pour it in here. Work that chicken base in there. It's gonna give it a nice looking color. One pot thing. It takes only an hour to cook, y'all. That's another good thing. I had to come up with something quick. I said, man, what can I make this quick and that they will enjoy? Okay, now, we're going to add our tomato products to this. Yes, I should have the can open already. We're going to add some diced tomatoes to this. Add the diced tomatoes. Gonna give it a nice color and then nice tomatoes. <clears throat> See that coming together? And we're gonna add our tomato paste. We're gonna build all the flavors first, and the last thing we're gonna add is our chicken and sausage. And 
the chicken thighs, they ain't gonna take no more than 45 minutes to cook them while they boiling. Take no time at all. Okay. Tomato paste here, that's gonna give it the nice color and body. And right at the end, I might thicken it with some uh, cornstarch, but with this tomato paste, I probably won't have to. Okay. Get this mixed in here together. See how that's coming along there? Look at that. Oh yeah, and this is awesome for January. This time of year, and it's cold. Here in Texas, we got a big cold front coming for New Year's Day. And it is going to be cool and wet and rainy. It's going to be perfect. Okay. Now, we got that in there. Now, we're going to put our chicken right back in here, y'all. Put our chicken right back in there. All this going to boil together. All them nice juices right back in there. Come out the chicken. Get stirred up in there. And we got one more thing to go here. The sausage. Put the sausage in there. Okay. Stir them sausage in there really good. Let them get incorporated. And trust me, all this gonna be done at the same time. You probably say, oh, I know where the chicken gonna be ready. Yeah, it's gonna be ready. Once this get to boiling, it's gonna all be ready at the same time. A little bit more water in here. And that's it, y'all. We're gonna cover this pot up, and later on, after it's ready, let me stir that in there. After it's ready, we're gonna season it. We're gonna check for seasoning. That's it, y'all. I will be right back in about an hour, 45 minutes to an hour, and we'll check the seasoning and and, and kind of finish it up. We'll be back. Okay, y'all. We are back here. Okay. Look at this here. Ain't this some goodness right here? Look at that. This stuff is like 15 minutes away from being ready. So now I do one more step here. Look how pretty the vegetables, the green, the green peas, the corn, potatoes are almost ready. Chicken got about another five minutes of chicken thigh. Look at that. That's it. The sausage, how pretty the sausage are. Okay, now I'm going to season it up here. I'm going to check my seasoning for it. Definitely need some seasoning. I'm going to put my cabinets in here. I know I love my shake here. Just a little shake here. Not much. A little salt and kosher salt. And white pepper. I'm going to stir this up in here and see what we got. See if I need to add more. Don't add a lot, y'all. You have to like any cooking. You season a little, and then you can add. Because once you over season, it's going to ever try to get that stuff out of there. Okay. Let's see what we got here, y'all. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, my God. This is good. Bring back memories 20 years ago. Okay. I'll do one more thing, y'all. See how soupy this is? I add a little cornstarch to this to make it a little bit of body. Not much. You still want to have the consistency of soup, but I don't like to have the water, water, water consistency. So I add a little cornstarch to this, slightly thicken it. I don't use roux for this because I just want that roux to kind of make it too, like, too big of a body. I just want to give it a little, see how it kind of made it a little bit less watery that's what the cornstarch gonna do and give it a little gloss too see that see how it changed the complexion of the soup that's a little trick when you're making soups if you don't want it to be watery watery but you still won't have that soup consistency that's what you do now we're gonna let this cook for about 10 more minutes we're gonna come back and we'll give me a bowl of this and we're gonna see how it is so we will be right back Okay, y'all, we back here. Let me turn this off. Oh, boy, look at this. 
Look at this here, y'all. This is what you want. This will cure everything that ails you on, th on uh, Thanksgiving, on uh, New Year's Day. Get your big bowl of this. Let me get some sausage in here. Mm, mm, mm. A little bit more veggies. Now, normally, I eat this with some cornbread. You can get you some white rice with this. Do it, eat it however you like it. I like to get some cornbread. Put that cornbread in the bowl. Put this on top of it, y'all. This is what she wrote right here, y'all. Look at that. Mm, mm, mm. Potatoes are perfectly cooked. Not overcooked, see the potatoes? Not smashed, not mushy. Like I say, this it takes about 45 minutes. Once you get everything in the pot, chicken, tender here. If the chicken is cooked, come right off the bone. Not falling off the bone, but perfectly cooked. Mm, mm, mm. Sausage, hey, you can't go wrong with this soup, y'all. Before I close this video, y'all stick around. I got a special message here. I'll be right back in one minute. A special message for y'all for 2021. So I'll be right back. All right, y'all. We are back. Okay. I couldn't close this video out without uh, wishing y'all again a happy new year. Hop the prosperous 2021. Try to make this quick. My hashtag going in, I'm going to tell you later at the end of this statement. But 2020 was... Very rough for a lot of people. Me, I was blessed and highly favored uh, more than others. I didn't go through a lot of uh, trials and tribulations than, more, than other people did. That's why I just kept giving back, giving back, giving back, trying to help as much as I could. I pray everybody, 2021, is more prosperous, more safe, more health. And in 2021, it is 2020. My hashtag on every video, every recipe, that I put in this year going to be help somebody. Very simple. Hashtag help somebody. Maybe I'll put old school on there or whatever. Maybe the, I'm going to mess with it. And I'll let y'all know. But help somebody going to definitely be in the statement. One hashtag. One statement on every video. Everything I post, that's going to be a hashtag. My thing is, like today, New Year's Day. It's New Year's Day now. I got, I think it's 12 families that I'm going to feed. They're going to give them mustard greens, black eyed peas, cornbread, maybe some banana pudding or something like that to help them out. I put on, uh, what you can do this in your neighborhood if you're able. Like I have an app called Next Door on my, on, in my neighborhood. and you, I put on there, anybody in need, want some New Year's Eve food, let me know. Just private message me. Don't put, I don't try to embarrass people because you don't know, your neighbor next door should be, might be looking for their next meal. You don't know what people are going through in your neighborhood, in your community. And this is the way I can reach out and kind of find out who's in need and I can help you with food. Like I tell people, if you're around me, you're not gonna starve, I promise you that. I want for nothing with food. And look at this gut I got right now. Food is my last worry in my life is what my next meal coming from. But some people it's not. And it's just my way of giving back I tell the people, let me know. You live in my area. Let me know your address. I let them know what time I'm going to be there. And I drop it off. That's it. I don't want any money, no donation or what. Like I tell people, you donate, donate to my old school soul food. Donate to my PayPal or Cash App. That goes back into my brand and I can help that. Like I tell every monetary donation y'all give me, it goes back into a special account. I use that monetary donations to buy more food and it goes back out. That's how I do it. That's why I tell people, give me when you give me monetary donations, you're giving, you're helping people. It's going to a good cause. I'm not out buying vehicles and flat screen TVs and all that. That come out of my personal money I make on my personal job. Everything you give me through Old School Soul Food, it goes to help others. That's the problem. So anyway, like I say, if y'all can go out and help somebody, they don't have to be with food. Give a neighbor, maybe an elderly neighbor, need a ride to the store. You go into the store, ask her, you need some milk or eggs or whatever. Some of them don't get out. Get out. You go get a hamburger, maybe Burger King. Ask somebody, get an extra burger, give it to somebody. 
or take people, some elderly people still go to the post office and thing, buy stamps. They still old school like that. That's when they need to ride to the post office, they need some stamps. You never know. You see somebody getting some gas, give them five bucks for gas. Put the five bucks on it. Anything. You know, it could be anything. A little thing goes a long way. Pay it forward. When I do somebody something for somebody, I tell them just pay it forward. Help somebody. I help you go help somebody else. So yeah, that's just the way I am. I just was raised like that. And I guarantee you, God will bless you tremendously. Over and abundantly and above than you have before. I promise you, I'm a living witness to that. So, anyway, I didn't preach enough. So, I want everybody to have a blessed new year. Hope everybody stay safe. This uh, COVID-19 is still out there wrecking havoc. So, y'all be safe, sanitized, wear your masks, wear your gloves, social distance, all that. Because I don't want to lose any old school soul food family members. My family members are growing, 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 and I love each and every one of y'all. So that's it, and uh, I can close every video. Y'all saw my soup here. It's getting cold here, but this soup is awesome. Try this soup, y'all. I guarantee you, everybody will be rapping and raving about this soup. Everything is perfectly cooked in it. You got the peas and carrots. You can put carrots. I ain't put carrots in this one. Mm -hmm. You know what it's good with? Ritz crackers. Put some Ritz crackers with this. You don't have to put cornbread off the hook but anyway let me close this video like i close every video please follow my other social media account facebook youtube instagram twitter twitch tv pinterest and oldschoolsoulfood.com don't forget we're one old school soul food family interact with you that's why i try to do lives on facebook and youtube to bring everybody together i'm all about togetherness i'm not about division this country this past another thing for our clothes I'm like a batch of pizza. I say I'm going to close and I ain't closed yet. This past year has been a lot of division. If it's political, racial division, racial uh, divide, political divide, Republican, Democrat, independent, liberal, uh, liberal people, oh, no man, so man. We're so divided. We need to come together as a people. We all one human race. It doesn't matter. God, God is watching. I'm telling you. God created everybody on this earth in his image, and we need to act like that. Treat everybody with love and respect as our brothers and sisters in Christ. Because he is definitely watching everybody. That's why I resonate people to come to this channel. We are old school soul food family. I do not care. Anybody know me outside this camera, they will tell you. I have, I do not care. I treat everybody just like they, whether you white, black, Hispanic, gay, straight, Republican, I could not care less what you are. All I care is how you treat me and and then how y'all treat you. That's all I care. That's it. So anyway, y'all have a happy 2021. Remember the hashtag gonna be help somebody. Remember that. I'm gonna create it. I'm gonna have to put old school in there somehow. But the main focus is do something for somebody today, tomorrow. Please, that's the only way we're going to heal this world is we get in our heart and help anybody, somebody. You, What it is, if you prejudge somebody how they look, how they talk or whatever, you falling, you, you, you selling yourself short because you don't know what that individual is about or about. You don't know what type of individual that is until you get to know that individual. You're selling yourself short. So anyway, have a blessed day, everybody. I love y'all. I'll see y'all in the next video, 2021. I'm going to be the best. Help somebody. Love y'all. Bye.